Hey, what's going on everybody? Ryan back here with another class build video for Grounded. You guys getting sick of these yet? No? Yeah? Alright. So this one we're going straight archer. We're not doing the, uh, I know I had the archer video before, but I changed that to just the crossbowman. Because it definitely feels like using the insect bow compared to the crow crossbow are two totally different things. So this one we're straight up using the, uh, the insect bow with our B armor. So... You can see what we have. We're loaded up on feather arrows here. The only downside to using the bow is the fact that these arrows just disappear into the void, which is really frustrating, especially when you're using feather arrows because the crow feathers are hit and miss right now. But uh, you can see what we got. We've got pollen shot, which is going to uh, allow us to cripple the insects. Medium armor, but it really doesn't feel like medium armor when you're running around. It really feels like light armor. So each piece has the bow stun, which is going to add to the bow or the uh, the stun gauge for each insect. And then we've got... Let's look at this bow. So the damage isn't there. It's all level 7 mighty. The speed is decent. Uh, and then we can look at our mutations. So we're rocking sharpshooter, obviously. Um, we've got our buff lungs. We've got coup de grass, uh, natural explorer, and actually using mom jeans. So... The idea with mom jeans is it doesn't proc that often. I would say maybe every one to two to three insects actually. But what it does is when you're when it does proc, the insect is going to focus just on the spiderling. So it's not going to focus on you allowing you time to just sit there and rifle off arrows at the uh, at the insect. Um, testing this out, we did have some issues with the, the spiders. The spiders kind of act dumb when you shoot them with bows and arrows. Uh, we'll see what we'll see what uh, we'll get into it and I'll show you guys what we mean, but. Let's go ahead and uh, check it out. And I had some interesting things happen when I was fighting uh, mosquitoes and bees. So I was over there. We're going to head over by the uh, pond and see if I can take those mosquitoes. I hate that little hole there. But so I was shooting the mosquitoes and they would just literally get stuck in the air. And then they would have the, uh, the lay down animation. Like they were just sitting there on ground, but they were in the air. Really weird. <clears throat> And then I was sitting there shooting at some bees, and I uh, had one bee literally just fall out of the sky. So I don't know if that's the cripple or the uh, the root effect, like if it just roots them in midair and then shuts them down. Probably need our bow out, huh? So just some, some weird wonky things happening. Obviously, the wolf spider you can take down with just a bow. It takes a lot of shots. Ladybugs are super strong against it, too. So really don't want to showcase that. If you guys have seen us uh, kill ladybugs and wolf spiders and stuff before, um, it's nothing different. Obviously, you just want the high ground when you're using the uh, the bow and arrow. Did I kill all these mosquitoes recently? We're going to have to swim across the pond. But it does wreck stink bugs, I'll tell you that much. I'm going to go the long way. Looks like we're going to have an orb weaver here. Oh. We do have our uh, our smoothies. You can see we get the, uh, the still get the knockback from the coup de grass, and because it's medium armor, we've got that added defense, so it's actually not hurting us too bad. At least not from the uh, not from the orb weavers. Let's see, we've already lost two arrows. So you really want to work on your accuracy with this, which of course, duh. But the stink bugs will go down really quick with this. And I'm not even going to touch the uh, the salty, spicy, or mint arrows. Um, I just wish they didn't revert back to normal arrows after you used them once. Same thing with the venom arrows, gas arrows, all that. If they maintained their uh, their enhancement from the arrows, then I would definitely use them a lot more. So that's why we're only just using the feather arrows. Obviously, if you know which enemy is, uh, which insect is weak to what element, basically, then, uh, you can use what, what's best against them. These little guys. Got a stink bug fighting a ladybug over there. But I fought an infected ladybug earlier, and, uh, they're pretty stout to the piercing. Not fought a uh, infected weevil. Mm -hmm. 
can see we get the root on him. Not too bad there. And uh, somebody was saying they never get hit by the ladybug's uh, projectiles. Well, when you're using a bow and arrow, you do because you're staying back and they're, they come out literally just the distance you should be away from shooting. So let's see if we can get this with the flying insects. Oh, missed that shot. this spiderlings over there picking on the ladybug. It just takes forever. Dropping 20 arrows. Spiderlings are out. We got a mite over there. Oh, that's the mites. Alright, not mess with you guys. He's gonna carry the dagger around. Yeah, how many arrows are we at? We're at 48, so we've lost, what, 10 arrows? Let's get a little heal on. Let's throw a uh, liquid rage on as well. Literally sounds like one's right behind me. One stuck over here or something. All right, well, it didn't do that that time, of course, because I'm recording. It's not going to do the uh, do the whole thing where it gets stuck in the sky. So we're going to head over towards the bees. We'll catch up with the guys over there and see what happens with them. All right, so we do got a bombardier beetle over here. We'll go ahead and try it. Uh, try this setup out on him. Should be relatively easy. Our arrows don't just disappear into the void. Put our spiderlings out. There we go. So it's a really touchy class. It is helpful. Uh, I think definitely in a group setting, you're obviously going to want an archer. They just drop that extra damage, especially with the coup de grass. So, all right, now we're going to head over towards the uh, to the bees and see if we can get one of those wolf spiders, too. All right, so we got a wolf spider right over here. We're going to go ahead and uh, load up on him. Another liquid rage going. And see if we can't get the... Uh... Oh, he's coming. This is where we do the dance. Oh. Whiff that shot. See, we are getting the uh, kickbacks on him now the spider links are out. There we go. Do the dance with the wolf spiders. You don't ever want to get too close to them, obviously. And again, you're saving saving a mutation slot without using the uh, mithridatism on them. So the spiders, the wolf spiders are relatively, relatively easy. As long as you keep your distance, which is what you're going to want to do as an archer.
Go see if we can snag one B and then we'll wrap this one up for you guys. Do some B on B crime. You see that? He just falls straight down. So I don't know if that's the cripple or the root or what that is, but the bees just uh, take a nosedive. So that's all we got for this one, guys. Archer's pretty sweet. Uh, I still prefer the crow crossbow. The insect bow is not bad, though. Um, again, any kind of time you're using the ranged attack, you see we started with 58 arrows. We're down to 44. But we didn't die. We took out wolf spiders, orb weavers, stink bugs, bombardier beetles, ladybugs, bees, mosquitoes. So really good. You can solo it. The biggest thing is obviously you just want the high ground, right? You want to keep your distance between yourself and the insect, and then you'll be good to go. No issues. We only had to heal a few times, so not too bad. But all right. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. It really helps the channel. We're having a ton of fun, and hopefully you guys are enjoying these videos. So we'll catch you guys in the next one. Stay original, my friends. Later.